this Jets wide receiver room is getting knocked down like flies, and Elijah Moore is the latest victim. What's good everyone, Jets take off. Elijah Moore is going to be placed on injured reserve, effectively ending his season just because the earliest he could come back is week 17. So I doubt the staff will bring him back and this will effectively end his season. He will finish with 43 receptions for over 500 yards. Not terrible. And the reason why I say not terrible is because at the start of the season, he didn't really get the football that much. Uh, but as of late, with Corey Davis going down, Elijah Moore was slated to be wide receiver one and get a lot of action because him and Zach were finally building chemistry. When Flacco was in at, in at quarterback, he was finding Elijah Moore. Mike White was finding him. So it, just as things were starting to kick into plan of how the two rookies were going to build a connection for next season, Elijah Moore is out. He's gone. And our wide receiver room is looking bleak at this point, to say the least. Corey Davis is out for the season. Now Elijah Moore, our two top receivers, easily... So now, it pretty much leaves Jamison Crowder as the best receiver on the team, but he'll be playing in the slot. Denzel Mims, Braxton Berrios, and Keelan Cole. We gotta add bodies quick, and the reason why this injury is pretty detrimental to this Jets team is because of Zach Wilson's development. Just like I said with the Corey Davis injury, he needs his best weapons on the field, and now that there's a notable drop-off in talent between Elijah Moore and Corey Davis down to Keelan Cole and Jameson Crowder. Jameson Crowder is good, don't get me wrong, but he's not like those guys. It can hurt his development because he doesn't really have an established chemistry with the rest of the guys. He doesn't have as much trust as he did in Elijah Moore and Corey Davis because especially Corey Davis in those uh, third downs, he would throw to Corey Davis a high majority of the time. And Elijah Moore, who was finding him on a lot of second downs. So now, Zach is going to have to step it up, build some more chemistry with other guys. But it will make his, his life harder at quarterback, just because the guys just aren't as good that are going to be around him now. And it's going to be a challenge. So, hopefully, this won't hurt him too bad. But I have a bad feeling that it will negatively impact him. Because his life and his development would have been a lot better if those two were on the field. But now they're not. So... From that perspective, this injury really sucks. But also, it just sucks seeing Elijah Moore out because we want to see all the rookies get as much snaps and playing time as possible so that they could be ahead of schedule maybe for next season and later on in their careers where they could actually be bona fide great players in the NFL. So I guess we'll have to just pump the brakes on that one fully till next year. But it was encouraging to see Elijah Moore these past few weeks. So that's really all. Um, Jets are down at wide receiver big time. This just opens up the door even more for Denzel Mims. So hopefully he can produce and hopefully the coaching staff can kind of open their eyes. But it has to come down to Denzel Mims coming in clutch in those big situations. No drop touchdowns. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this news. Pretty breaking. Just tough to see, man. I, I guess that quad injury was really bad because I didn't think it was too bad, but it was. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate all and anything, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.